a group of young activists come in and say, we're going to take over your organisation. Now you're, the Boston Pride Parade has to be about black trans lives matter. Oh, trans people. It's going to be about like black, black trans, trans people. lives, not just about LGBT. So they want to narrow. The but trans is T, actually. So the only difference is the black people. Yep. Uh, but that's like, that's an example of like, taking the marginalized people in the marginalized community, like double marginalized and like bringing them front and center and like trying to raise up their voice. Like what's wrong with that? Right. Like there's an, <laughs> it's not like, the, it's not like, well, fuck it. It's not like a, like white dude. It's not like, like basic white fucking wine gays didn't feel welcome at the fucking pride parade because there was a you know what I'm because there was a little bit different like focus from the organizers this year you think anybody you think any like like a guy my age who's like a stockbroker and has been with his boyfriend for 20 years gives a fuck about any of that for pride <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> they just want to go get drunk yeah. on the street and maybe end up having the first threesome they've had in six years like that's just like that's what it's about yeah. None of the none of the rest of the people give a fuck about this, or if they do, they're like, "Oh, that's really cool. All right, cool." You know, like they don't give it too much thought. It's like, "Will someone think of the white cis gays? Get the fuck out of here!" <laughs> Will someone think of the white trans women? Get out of here, lady! <laughs> oh man, that was the most racist fucking thing in the world. They just don't didn't even notice, like. Everything was fine until now there's black people here. Like, oh my God. We're going to do it again. <laughs> I want to hear it from the very beginning. About it, the implosion of the Boston Pride Parade. So this there's an organization that is pro-LGBT, et cetera, and a, a group of young activists come in and say, we're going to take over your organization. Now your the Boston Pride Parade has to be about black trans lives mattering. It's got to be about black trans lives, not just about LGBT. So they want to narrow the issue down to something very tiny and specific. And then they want to impose that belief system on the rest of the group. Yeah, they're going to impose the belief system on fucking Ted, who's there with his boyfriend, Jonathan. They're waiting at the fucking margarita booth, and then they're going to go They're going to go shake that ass over at the dance stage. They're just fucking... The whole thing got fucked up by somebody saying that trans black trans lives matter, and we're going to talk a little bit about this this year at Pride. <laughs> Come on, what also, is this... The belief system that she's upset about right now is that black trans lives matter. And that she it is ruins, upset and that, that was, people believe that black trans lives matter. I'm defenseless against that kind of female insanity. I'm okay with imposing that belief system. That's, I mean, we, we already do. You're not allowed to murder black trans people. You're not allowed to murder anyone. But this, that think, is a belief system that already exists. That is imposed on everyone. I think like, the forest, like you're talking about the trees, right? But the forest is that this is a person who's never been to pride. Yes. <laughs> I'm just telling you, well, dude, maybe she has, and she fucking hated it. I'm just telling you, man, somebody's going to, somebody's like over there is buying a churro for fucking four times what you should spend for a churro, but it's like, they're a little <laughs> bit drunk. So it's going to be like the best thing they have to eat all day. There's fucking, there's like, there's like lesbians who rode their motorcycles that are just out there like smoking weed in the fucking grass. There's like this the fucking, there's like fucking families there who are just kind of hanging out, checking out the music. There's fucking DJs. There's a whole dance floor over there. There's fucking maybe like three or four other dance floors spread out throughout the fucking plaza. There's like a band playing on the main stage in front of city hall and whatever city pride might be in. It's all kind of booths, food, all kind of shit going on. And everybody's having a great time and people's ass and dicks are hanging out. There's tits everywhere. It's pride. And nobody cares about like the messaging. And to the extent that anybody would hear about it, they'd be like, Oh yeah, that's great. Actually. Yeah. We, yeah. we, we support that, but it's pride. And so this person is like, she's like, the normal gays are just not able to have fun there. Like, shut the fuck up. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like. 
also it's it's not too long ago where just pride was super controversial and radical yeah and now they're trying to fucking they keep trying to do they try to take our shit they're trying to take our shit hk she's trying to take my shit right now she's like, <laughs> i'm gonna use gay dave's fucking shit right now to shit on trans people the black ones specifically <laughs> Get the fuck Don't out. Her. Write, her, write her a letter. <laughs> Dear Athe. <laughs> write a letter to the editor. <laughs> oh, shit. I can write a letter to the editor, can't I? Is there a letter to, is there a letters to the editor uh, part of on Killette? Because I would like to get my letter to the editor published. Be like, pride is my shit, all right? Stop taking my shit. <laughs> Quit using it to, to further your shitty agenda. <laughs> right. Like, find someone else's shit to use to further your shitty agenda. My shit is pride. I like it. I don't e- I'm don't even, I'm not attracted to people with breasts, but I love that there's titties at pride. Like, it's just a free expression for, like, adults where people don't get hurt, and it's it's just fun. Not family fun for everyone. Your kids will be safe there, but it ain't family fun for everyone. It's just a fucking party. And it's like Mardi Gras. <laughs> And you sh- you can't have it, Caliper Claire. It is not yours. the The wine brunch gaze will keep you from taking it. It won't. It won't be the black trans people that you're afraid of. It'll be the ones that you think you're speaking for who will make sure that you can't have it. And I will see to it. <laughs> Gay Steve <laughs> will wrestle that shit away from you. Like you, I. This is fucking so offensive. Like. <laughs> we're not offended around here right like we don't get offended very easily but this is incredibly offensive it is but like this whole this whole interview has been offensive no that was like next level offensive like but that's just i just take it a little personally actually <laughs> where you try to like you to try oh they had like a, the implication there's literally they had the regular gays there and now the black trans gays are showing up and it's just not fun for anybody anymore get the fuck out of here I mean, people show up to San Francisco <laughs> Pride. There's like a million people out on the streets over the course of the weekend. Think, come on, man. Get the fuck out of here. And now the moderates in the group are thinking. Yes, the moderates in the group. Oh no, the, the moderate, <laughs> the moderate gays are like, oh, this is this all the all this ass hanging out and fucking simulated oral sex on the on, on like on top of a fucking bus stop. All of this shit was fine, but now the black gay trans people have shown up. <laughs> oh no, what does she think pride is? The, the moderate gays. <laughs> you're just gonna see a dick the, the moderate like, gays are not cool with this like hk if you go to pride you just accept <laughs> that you're gonna see a dick right you're probably gonna see a dick if you go to pride oh yeah yeah i don't mind yeah yeah I, but that's fine but then the black people show up <laughs> <laughs> the black people they've ruined everybody that guy cannot hang his ass out over the bus stop and and twerk like to somebody's boombox sitting under the bus stop, which is not like a, um, like a sanctioned part of the party, but it's the best part of the party. Can't do it anymore. The black trans people are here. <laughs> a person trying to covertly give his boyfriend um, a hand job <laughs> because they're both <laughs> fucking rolling. <laughs> It's just a sad hand job now. Right? <laughs> like, the boyfriend is like, are you not into this? What's going on? It's the black trans gays. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, man. There's, there's like, there's like a lot of free expression going on at pride and nobody's. No, nobody. No. What do you, what do you mean? The moderate gays? What are the moderate? Oh, man. And it's like, if you're a marginalized community and you're not hurting anyone, you're welcome. Just where are the gays at Pride who were like, I was going to go, but come on, man. I mean, I felt welcome and I'm not a marginalized community. Everybody's like, the everybody, like, as long as you're not there to start a fight, it's probably pretty cool that you're there. Don't overdose either. It's bad for the, it's a bad look and cities might shut down prides, but otherwise, fucking do your thing. 
Yeah, as long as you're not hurting hurting anyone. She's going to keep Live, going laugh, on this. Learn to code. She's going to keep going on this. <laughs> well, I want to support. I want to be part of the Boston Pride group. I want to go and march for LG. But you don't live there. Why do you want to be part of Boston Pride? All you want to do is you, you want to Well, she's saying the moderate gays want to be part of Boston Pride, <laughs> but now the black stop. trans people are there and they can't. I can't fucking stop thinking <laughs> about all of the things I've seen at Pride. <laughs> <laughs> and like everybody like all of I, not even just the things i've seen the things i've seen like regular people who are probably stockbrokers cheering for at pride you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> imagine like in her mind there's just like a bunch of moderate gays just going to pride and they look up and they see a banner that's like black trans lives matter and they're like i don't even feel welcome here anymore Again, I'm just thinking of the things I've seen some shit, right? <laughs> and it's all fine. <laughs> it's like, a, oh God, there's just been so many things that I've seen. I've seen like the DJ <laughs> getting oral sex from the DJ before him <laughs> while he was playing. Like, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, why not? Like, fucking. The things I've seen, like, and the regular people, the regular gays that were at Pride, <laughs> they were like, oh, would you look at that? <laughs> <laughs> the moderate gays. The moderate gays. <laughs> I can't fuck. You know what, though? I'm glad we stopped when we did, because this this would have been... Actually, this would have been really good for the podcast. I might release the part about the moderate. Can days. you sp just splice this section into the podcast? No, even better. Put it out on like Saturday afternoon. Yeah. Drop a bonus for Do the Do like a, a special, just this section special. <laughs> Hold on. People and, and lesbian and gay rights and transgender rights. I want to be involved in that, but I can't sign on to these quite extreme demands. and and this. This group yeah, she has no idea what a pride Whoa, party wait, is. <laughs> so in in her mind, she she's got this hypothetical person who's fine with gay rights, fine with lesbian rights. Well, they're a gay fine themselves. With trans rights. They're gay themselves, but probably. Not cool with black trans rights. In her mind, this person is a gay themselves. Remember, I mean that that's just. A racist person, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in her mind, there's just tons of these moderate gays who are just really racist. And race and being racist doesn't seem like a position of most moderates would hold. Yeah. <laughs> hold on. I got a screenshot of this, by but the way. Everybody you got to remember, she's dead center. She's a centrist. So wanted to sort of pivot the the pride march away from just lgbt and towards black trans lives had a suite of demands where they had to you know the the uh the white people of the group had to acknowledge that they were colonialists and they had stolen from the native peoples and they had to um rally against gentrification so <laughs> this doesn't happen at a pride parade what is she talking about demand. there's ass hanging what out everywhere there's just to, ass hanging out everywhere and and there's ass and boobs up. everywhere and it's great intimidated or cowed it, into it's, silence it's adults being free or just cave in and um and if there are like activist groups like hold on if, if there are like the activist water. groups who want to try to get their little mission statement into the pride thing then good for them get them yeah, get get your get your mission statement in there talk about how you're on indigenous land why not but also, like, what is what does what does like taking land from indigenous people have to do with black trans rights? Oh, she just doesn't like the indigenous people either. Okay, <laughs> I mean, what, what do you think? The yeah, I mean, was? they're yeah, just racism. <laughs> yeah. Just generalized know. racism. But, but also, like, this is just like. She's talking about some fucking like a statement that the organizers are going to like put in the little pride pamphlet that you get and then never read. Right. Like that's all she's talking about. I think when you go to pride, they give you a yeah. little book. It tells you what's going on. You fucking throw it in the trash because you're like, I'm just going to get drunk and wander around because this is pride. 
I will yep. run into friends. I will turn turn off my phone. But so what? Like they're not like everybody that comes is isn't being indoctrinated with some message that we will center black trans life. You don't have time for that shit. Fucking Fred the stockbroker's trying to get trying to get fucking trying to get lit up with with the with the escort he brought. Like, come on, man. <laughs> The fucking party. Moderates have better things to do on average. Yeah. You know, well, that was a know weird cut. I mean? Look, you're re- so yeah. much. In. And um, I can kind of. We, under- you might also wonder if the moderates have better things to do on average. Yeah. You know, you know what yeah. I mean? If yeah, they're cutting it up. Do you see that? Moderate in your was, life. Was it a cut? Kind of His side didn't your cut. You're kind of distributed. Hmm. Along I mean, just your Wi-Fi. things, your family, you have a yeah. job, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And so yeah. you're you're tangentially or involved with the group. But when push yeah. comes to shove, well, if someone's getting hostile and it's starting to cause you a lot of grief and misery, then it's easy enough to bow out. And absolutely. That's that's exactly right. And and the, the concern that I have is that I'm seeing so this is sort of like a deranging dynamic that is now happening where tiny minorities of fanatics are pulling their respective communities and their ideological I do like how this is like two straight white people talking about how gay people right. feel and about I, black trans people. Is, do you think what social media is doing is speeding that up and making yeah. it easier? Right? Yeah, because I do. it's it's not that easy if you're a bully, let's say, a, a, yeah. an ideologically committed to bully to actually find people and bully them. Yeah. But online, you can do that because it's so efficient. You can do that extremely quickly and with very many people. And you can unite. That's the other thing is you can we, The pride discourse is over, yeah? Yeah. That was the best segment of the intellectual Dollar Tree we've ever done. I think so. Uh, yeah, you weren't here for it, but I capped it off with just saying, I do like how this is... We're watching two straight white people talk about how gay people feel about black trans people oh you've given me a, you've that's a great place for me to fucking cut the end of the segment off then fucking thank you <laughs> <laughs>